What's up guys and welcome back to another raid shadow legends video with me the real deal so there is a dragon tournament going on at the moment where you can only use lizard men champions and um, there's some really nice rewards in here we've got a mortal soul stone and a soul coin so these can help you get blessings you know get those red stars on your champions which is always nice um there's also a void shard up for grabs and polarium don't like to give these away for free so definitely worth going for and if you're in a weaker bracket, you could get yourself Ancient Shard and um, some Charms and even some Relentless Gear as well, which is always nice. But before you decide you want to do this Dragon Tournament, there's two questions you want to ask yourself. Well, actually, there's quite a few questions. One, do I have the champions to do this tournament? If not, hard skip. Um, two, do I need gear from Fire Knight or Spider? And if you're farming like stage 20 to 25, then I would say carry on doing finite and carry on doing spider. And then the third question you want to ask yourself is, do I have the resources, especially if you're going for the fusion? If you're going for the fusion, you need to make sure you're getting these rare champions so you can do the fusion. Um, but if not, you know, then go for it. Go for this dragon tournament because you can, like, like I said, get some really nice rewards. So let's check out the team that I'm running. So... We're doing stage 20 because you can still get five to six star gear, but it's more energy efficient than doing stage 25 and it's a lot faster as well. So the team that I'm running can do in about one minute, uh, one and a half minutes is a hundred percent win rate. Um, so we've got Necmo, Draco, Chagor and Fushan. I know these aren't um, very accessible champions. I know not everyone has these, um, but you know, just in case for like the end game players that do have all these champions that can join in, then yeah, go for it. Um, but I'll give you guys some alternatives as well. So champions you could bring in, they've got all the legendaries pretty much are going to be good for this uh, faction. Like Draco obviously hits hard, throws out drop defense and weaken. You've got Fushan who also just hits hard. Uh, Razin as well. He like has a hard hit OE and drops turn meter. So yeah, really useful. Uh, Pytheon. You know, you could use him, but he will slow down the run because he's not going to be doing damage, you know, and he's just going to be throwing out. He's just going to be, like, being supportive. And I, he can bring in a revive, though, which could be useful, but I would try to avoid using him just because he will slow down your runs. Uh, Romanto, uh, Romantu hits hard. Chagur obviously hits hard as well. Uh, but any champion that's going to bring in poison as well just can absolutely melt the dragon, like Draco, Chagur, um, Venomage as well, and... Aox, um, other great shout outs. Um, but yeah, so epic champions as well that you could bring in that could help you, you know, just be able to do this. You've got Jareg with his ally protection and healing. Um, yeah, Venomage, I know she can solo it, but she's quite slow. So, you know, if you're not doing this in under three minutes, I don't see the point because you, you know, you've only got two days to do this and you probably will run out of time. Um, and then Drake, you know, if you build him with a lot of attack and CD, he will just clear through the waves no problem but then again you need to have one built up so i wouldn't build up champions specifically for this um you know if you've got the champions and your end game yeah definitely go for it but yeah this is the team that i'm rocking and yeah we actually do this in one minute and 28 seconds so pretty fast and we were able to farm this really quickly but yeah draco and chagor they're doing all the work here i mean necmo obviously he's a great champion as well um and he does help a little bit with his slows and Fushan just doing a bit of damage. So let's uh, check out the gears and mastery. So first up, we've got Fushan. Uh, mine's in a stun and accuracy set, which is nice. He has some uh, AOE hitting abilities on his A2, hits all enemies twice and places uh, and a chance of placing stuns. So putting him in a stun set means he's got more chance of that happening, which is just nice, bit of extra CC. But of course, you could always just put him in Savage as well, so he just does more, does more damage. Um, we've got Crit damage on the gloves, attack on the chest, speed on the boots, uh, attack on the ring, um, crit damage on the amulet, and then um, attack on the banner. Total stats, we have 34k HP, 4.3k attack, 191 speed, 90% crit rate. Of course we want 100, but you can't always hit that. And then 239 crit damage, and then 274 accuracy, so we land our debuffs. Um, Mine is built for Doom Tower. I only really use him for that secret room where you need all force champions. 
Uh, and he's fully, he's unbooked as well, so he's still doing pretty good damage, even though he's not fully booked. And, you know, the books do help because he can rack up quite a little, uh, quite a lot of extra damage. Uh, and he's n no masteries either. He doesn't need masteries for this. So this is my Chagor, and to be honest, I'm actually ashamed of his build. It's just awful. Um, I've just was trying out a few different things. So how I would say you should build him is either triple perception. Um, so if you wanted to build him as control, so you want like sort of 600 accuracy for him or for arena. Um, or the other one you could go for arena is put him in a day set. Gives him lots of control. Or the other one is you could put him in uh, savage. So he just hits really hard. And I'd say you do, I'll tell him how you should build him. So you want crit damage on the gloves. Um, attack on the chest, either speed or attack on the boots. Um, attack on the ring, crit damage on the amulet, and then either accuracy or attack. So accuracy if you want control, attack if you want to do more damage. Um, stats, I'll tell you how they should be. So you want sort of 5k plus attack, um, 200, uh, yeah, 200 plus speed, 100% crit rate. And then if he's a new car, you want as much crit damage as possible. Um, and if you are building as control, then you want him to have like 600 accuracy plus. Otherwise, 200 accuracy is perfectly fine. Um, you want to fully book him uh, just for all the damage. Uh, blessings. Um, yeah, I guess uh, temporal chains if you want him as a control champion. Otherwise, uh, soul reap is he's going nuka. And masteries. Um, these aren't the best masteries. These are for PVE. They'd be very different for PVP. So for PVP. I'll just say, look at one of my other videos where I'm talking about Arena and just copy one of those ones where you sort of get Helm Smasher and stuff like that. Um, but for him, you would want to go um, down to Eagle Eye if you're going for um, crowd control. But otherwise, for sort of PvE, you just want um, anything to do with accuracy, cycle of magic to hopefully cycle through your abilities quicker, uh, Master Hexer just to increase those debuffs, and then Offense. Basically, it's just all about damage, hugging the left-hand side, all the way down to War Masters. And then next up, we've got Draco. So my Draco is built for uh, Clan Boss, so he's in a Relentless set. Um, Relentless is really good on him because he does hit really hard, and he has loads of multi-hitting uh, abilities as well, so he can throw out loads of poisons. Um, so we want crit damage on the gloves, attack on the chest, speed on the boots, um, attack on the ring crit damage on the amulet, and then either accuracy or attack on the banner, depending if you can reach the stats that you need. 37k HP, uh, 4.2k attack, would love this to be higher. Um, speed, so it has to be 220, that is specifically for uh, the clan boss unkillable team that I run. Um, I've gone overkill with the crit rate, but unfortunately, uh, sometimes it's just the way it is. Crit damage, 218. That should definitely be sort of a lot higher around 250 and then accuracy you sort of need 200 and above uh probably 250 for clan boss and 200 for dungeons uh masteries these are specific for pve and also for this uncolorable team that i run um so basically it's all about going down and getting counter attacks and then also grim resolve so basically the less hp we have this is because of the unkillable team that we are run it will do more damage uh, and then like just things to keep him alive like life drinker uh, um cycle violets just to hopefully cycle for our abilities faster as well and then yeah just all the way down to war master so we just you know just throw out loads of damage last but not least we've got necmo who is just an absolute boss uh, i love this guy uh, so mine's in double perception and speed um he's got hp on the gloves accuracy on the chest uh, speed on the boots um, defense on the amulet, defense on the ring, HP on the banner. Uh, total stats we've got 53k HP, uh, 2.8k defense, 272 speed, and 410 accuracy. They are the only stats you need to worry about him is HP, um, defense, speed, and accuracy. Um, this guy has a great kit, especially for Hydra. Um, so basically, he's got a turn meter boost and increased speed buff. Um, he throws out slow and leech and um, also decrease attack and both of his all well all of his abilities are aoe hitters um, and that's why you put brimstone on especially for hydra because he's just gonna be throwing that and landing it all the time great great champion um, he does have very specific masteries um, so we're gonna go with a little bit more accuracy 
Um, Exalt in death doesn't really benefit him, but we're taking it just so we can go into rapid response. So that has a 30 turn chance of increasing the turn meter by 10% when a buff from this champion is removed or expires. Um, so because he's going to throw out, you know, five increased speed buffs on our team, when that drops off, he's going to have a chance to increase his turn meter. Also, that pairs up really nicely with Arcane Celerity. So basically, we've got a 30 turn chance of increasing our turn meter by 10%. When our debuffs are removed, so because we've got three different types of debuffs we can throw out, it's a really good chance to uh, so boost our turn meter as well. Um, and then cycle of magic, so hopefully that's going to reduce our A3, so we can boost our turn meter even more. Um, and then lasting gifts, just to keep that speed buff up, so we can just keep our team really nice and fast. Um, of course, we want Laura Steel to increase our accuracy and speed. And then Master Hexer to keep all those lovely debuffs up on Hydra. And of course, any other PvE content that we're doing. And then offense, and we're basically just going to take some crit rate, some crit damage, and then basically just damage and survivability all the way down to Warmaster on the left-hand side. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace!